This episode of Joyride is being brought to you by High Bank. High Bank is a proud Columbus-based distillery. Look for High Bank Spirits at your local liquor store and favorite bars around the city. By purchasing High Bank Spirits, you're supporting and drinking local. Drink local, drink High Bank. You're listening to Joyride, a podcast for people who love cars. Now sit back and enjoy the ride. Hey guys, it's Pete and and Rob. All right. Hey, Rob. How's it going? It's good, man. How are you? We're good. Good. Real good. Yeah. Back again. Back again. I love it. Yeah. We got a special guest today. We do. Who do we have? We have our longtime friend. Man, the myth, the legend. The strongest man I know. I mean, most, physically. Physically, yeah. And mentally. Yeah. <laughs> and wow. talented, too. I mean, the guy is a triple threat. Our friend. No, okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> before Before we do this. <laughs> So I know him mm-hmm. as Brian, mm-hmm. and you know him as well. I know him as Brian. Okay, but I've made a conscious effort to start calling him Tony. Right, because because our guest has changed his name. Oh Lord, more than Prince, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and it confuses the hell out of me. So Brian, welcome to Joyride. It's it's or you Tony. Can, it's it's okay. What do you prefer? I prefer Tony. Tony. Okay. So but going it, forward. I, too, will make a conscious effort to call you Tony. It's not that big of a deal. But I I feel like I should explain now that I I got three first names. So Brian Anthony Thomas, and I go by my middle name. Like a lot of people. Yeah. It's not unusual. I mean, your first name's not Pete, is it? Yeah. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that didn't work out like a plan. (laughs) Nope. (laughs) So welcome. Awesome. Welcome to to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Like the studios. Nice. Yeah. Like Scarface posters, awesome. Yeah, it's good to have yep. that. All everywhere. the the velvet, uh, yeah. the velvet ropes everywhere. Well, good man. Yeah. yeah, you moved up in the world. Thanks. That's awesome. Today is a special day because we have Tony with us. Right. We yes. Figured we'd talk a little bit about some news. Maybe if we don't get to it, that's fine. We we'll talk to Tony about his first car, what he drives now, what he wants to drive. Yeah. A little wish list. We'll we'll just get into it. So yeah. you want to give a little background? You're from Columbus. You've been doing what with who and, you know, Man. give us, give us, give us something. Here. I mean, I'll, I'll make it quick. Uh, my life's not that exciting. Uh, <laughs> from Columbus, born and raised, born in Ohio State, hate Ohio State. <laughs> no, I don't hate Ohio State. I'm joking. I'm a, I'm a Michigan fan. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Look down at your whiskey. Um, <laughs> um, I don't really watch much football, but uh, I just happen to like Michigan. I like running backs and they had pretty good ones when I was growing up. Uh, that's what it's about. You know, when true. you're growing up, it just sets in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? It sets the, it sets the tone for but sure. The rest of your life. Yeah. And, yeah. I didn't watch much football, but it, uh, you know, I like uh, Tim Bianca Batuka was the running back. I liked a lot. Okay. And so therefore I started liking Michigan because I, I, I was running back. Yeah. But anyway, we'll get past that and how much Ohio State sucks. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I can't uh, even. Yeah, really okay. in the art. Uh, ran track in college, and then it was switching schools and went to CCAD, where I met Rob. Is that where you guys met then? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. yep. Yeah. Freshman year, right? Yeah. Did we meet freshman year. Were you in yeah. the dorms? No. No. Okay. No. I hung out with. Uh, I feel like I saw you in the dorms though. Oh, yeah, I hung out in the dorms a lot. Jimmy okay. Chung. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Was, uh, James. I forgot about James. Yeah. yeah. I love yeah. how you call him James too, because that's like not even a thing, right? His no. name is not even James. No. no. It's not even Jimmy. No. Yeah. It's Joe Meng G. <laughs> if I, I mean, it's kind of close. I may, have, I may have butchered it a little. Bit. I, I butchered it, but it was, it's something like that. Yeah. yeah. yeah I feel pretty good. I, I, my can't is a Cantonese. Cantonese. Yeah. 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 It was good. Pretty good. But yeah, I met Rob there, and now I'm a. Uh, Director of creative. Uh, actually, you mentioned before, I'm probably your strongest friend. No, I mean, I am. No, you definitely are. Friend, uh, yeah. There's no maybe about uh, it. Yeah. Uh, what do you bench? <laughs> Why is Ray asked that first question? Because <laughs> that's the stereotypical thing. I, I know well, it's well, more what he like. Wants the answer is what I know do you squat. What do you squat? I yeah. know that's the real question. Well, yeah. Uh, right now, my, my highest bench is like 355. Not even that big of a deal. God that's not. That's really. Damn. That's not that. That's not good for a bench. It's right. pretty good. I mean, it's, it's three of me. So. <laughs> 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 Ten years ago. <laughs> Uh, my heaviest squat's 550, and my heaviest deadlift is 606. Woo! Now, those are horsepower numbers right those there. Those are, yeah, yeah. We, those we brought are, the horsepower Those guy, are Hellcat huh? numbers yeah. right there, dude. <laughs> Damn, man. So, uh, Tony's going to help me build a gym. 
and he's going to train me virtually. Oh, okay. And uh, I, I am. Well, I mean, the gym part, yes, the virtual training, that's that's new. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm going to text you, hey, what should I do? And, okay. and you're going to get back to me. <laughs> we should FaceTime and work out together. Oh, that I sounds if like I a great idea. Put like a TV that doubles as a monitor and just like put the TV up. Yeah, and fa- yeah. it's definitely possible because you can uh, buy a cord for your iPhone device to put into uh, your TV directly in. So, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mirror my phone kind of thing, right? Basically, yeah. Okay. See, there we it's go. It's done. It's done. It's only thirty five ninety five <laughs> <laughs> a session. So. An, uh, yeah, an hour. Yeah. <laughs> we like to talk about cars on the podcast. Yeah. And uh, I think what we'll I probably just go right to, right? First car is always kind of an impressionable car. And we touched on this with running backs, but your first car kind of sets the tone, right? Whether yeah. you loved it or hated it, it, it made you something. And you carry that with you, whether you know mm-hmm. it or not. We're going to find out about that right now. Yeah. So, first car. You're 15, 16. When do you get it? 16. Okay. My parents set me up uh, in, a, in a great car. I mean, they made sure that I was the talk of the town. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I looked amazing in this car. It was a nice, sleek, four-door sedan. Mm-hmm. Tan. Mm-hmm. Of course, that's the sexiest color you can get in a car is tan. Uh, Subaru Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> And they uh, they upped the ante with this car by giving it to me so so early that it had no reverse. So I looked way cool. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. How does that happen? I don't know how it happens. At 16, I had no idea. I just knew I just had to stick my foot out the door. <laughs> <laughs> push and, and push the car. So I would make it conscious. That, don't laugh at that. That's why not, his deadlifts are so strong, dude. <laughs> He's had calves. <laughs> yeah. Like, pushing the car backwards. <laughs> but I worked at Easton uh, when they first built it. And um, okay. so I worked at the AMC theater, you know, yeah. build us like that. I was, I was an Ursher um, up there. And um, <laughs> yeah, I would make, I would try to park as far to the top as possible so I could pull through. But there was always, it was always against the wall because it's a parking garage. So I made sure I wasn't like a, a decline because it was impossible to get the car out, you know. But it was also <laughs> awkward because Easton was popular. Yeah, people be waiting to get my parking spot and I have to stick my foot out the door <laughs> 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 and push the car back. And it was, uh, <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it humbled me very quickly yeah, about yeah. cars and how to appreciate them. Yeah. So. I thought I was bad because I just wanted a CD player in yeah, my car. Yeah, <laughs> no reverse, man. That's tough. Wow. Yeah, it was a... Now, uh, now, how long did you have that car? I was quit, uh, maybe a year, tops. Okay. Did something happen to it or you just traded up because the, uh, the reverse thing bothered you? Well, the reverse thing was an issue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Pretty big Character one. building. Yeah. So, my parents uh, got me another car. Uh a tornado had dropped a billboard on my father's car and it kind of it crashed the back window in the trunk. And it was a huge dent in the trunk. And they were like, you know what? You can have this car. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a, uh, actually, I, I liked the car a lot. It was a 96 Chevy Corsica. Oh, and they okay. basically okay. went model after, after uh, the Beretta. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, they had a V6 in it. Wow. And uh, I was all about it because I felt like I had, was, you know, moving, you know? Yeah. Before this, that four banger I had with the Subaru, and I got this V6 now. I'm like, oh, I got some speed, you know? <laughs> Both automatics? <laughs> yes. Okay. No, the Subaru was a stick. Okay. The first cars with the manual. So, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Of the, course, it was automatic. Though. Right way to learn. Yes. Do you remember the mileage when you got the Subaru? I have no idea. Yeah. Okay. No idea. I just know it did die quick. <laughs> yeah. So that's, so that's what happened. It, it just sort of gave out on you. Yeah, yeah, it just wasn't, I mean. So what? I, so you got your dad's hand-me-down. What did your dad end up getting then? He, I think, yeah, he got the 2002 Ford Focus. Okay. I think okay. The, I think it was the first year it came I out. I can't see your dad driving a Focus. He still has the Focus. No way. Oh. Yes, it has It has rims on it. And this of is the, course, of course it's it a sedan. Yeah. Uh, it has a body kit, so it has, a, uh, it has underlighting as well. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wait, okay, so what color is the car? It's black. And what color is the underlighting? It's, it can change colors. Oh, he's got, he's got, so yes! He, yeah, so he goes with the Fast and Furious green. Green, of course. Uh, yeah. I was thinking I was thinking if I had a black car, green, yeah. 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 He's got a, you know, the aftermarket shifter on there, so you can a little knob or something. It's probably a skull or something or a dice now, but yeah, he's still got that focus. Is that a it, daily driver for him? Uh, they go back and forth. They got a Kia, because okay. uh, you know they're older. They got the, these big boat cars now. They got a, um, a Lincoln. All right, all right. So... Wow, he did drive that mostly, but he still keeps the. I think he just holds on to that that youth. Yeah, you know, of course, of the, of the focus of, course. Yeah. of that ugly ass car. He's he's probably taller than that car is long. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get that height. He's like six four, six five. Yeah, damn. Yeah, he's a tall man. Looks like Snoop Dogg. We call him Snoop. We used to call him Debo because he, you know, he lost his license for a bit. <laughs> that car that got a billboard dropped on it. He got a lot of tickets because he would park in a weird spot. So ah. 
Sorry, pops. Everybody knows now. <laughs> but yeah, he, he, had, he, he rode his bike because I was I played football. He would ride to practice every day in his Devo, bike. That and makes sense. Yeah, Devo. gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Show up with the bike, the bicycle. Yeah, wow. So he ride from over here to the Ghana High School on his bike. Okay, almost every day. That's a pretty good ride. Mm-hmm. It's fair. I don't yeah. know. I can't do mileage in my head, but it, it, it's far. It's farther than I want to go right now <laughs> on a bike. At my age, <laughs> <laughs> and he did it at this age. So. <laughs> I wouldn't wow. do it for my kids. Say that right now. They just have to. Look. That's not coming. Yeah, you know. Pops got you covered, man. Yeah, He's, he was gonna see you. Yeah, it's good, man. That's good. That's awesome. So you got the Corsica, and that takes you into college, or did no. you drop your? Because you, you didn't live on campus then, so you probably kept a car, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I went to college. I had a uh, my first college. I had a Saturn SL. They don't make them anymore. No, uh, it was green. That was a manual. I had a lot of sticks. I like I like driving stick. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then I end up buying a, before I went to CCAD, I bought the Pontiac Sunfire. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that was 2002 as well. And I thought, in hindsight, it was not cool. But I thought I thought, <laughs> I thought it was a cool car. Like, that doesn't... car is probably, it's got the record for me of like, the first time I saw it, I kind of dug it. Yeah. And then every time I saw one after that, it was just like, no, 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 no. And yeah. it just dropped down to the point where it just, they're not good looking no, anymore. They're not. They, they, they fell off pretty fast. Yes. Well, that was the new body style, right? Where the Cavalier and yeah, the, exactly. the Sunfire were yeah. like sister cars. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And a lot of girls drove it. And oh, I realized a lot that. of girls drove it. And I realized when you like, said oh, my Sunfire, goodness, I thought I'm of at... three girls at high school. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. I wonder what she's up to. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> and the two other girls that drove it. <laughs> I think Aunt, Jimmy's wife had one, I think. Didn't, oh, that's didn't right. Ann have a yeah. Sunfire? We shouldn't stop talking about the girls that owe my car. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mistake. I had it for a long time. You had the Sunfire for a long time. I really remember. A long time, yeah. yeah. And the, uh, I think the fuel pump went out. Okay. And then uh, something else went wrong too, and I was like, eh, I'll just scrap it." So I paid. I think I got like four hundred bucks for it. Yeah, I wow. just came, picked it up, and took it. So yeah. So from the Sunfire, now you're graduated, or no? So the good one's still coming. Yeah. So I had the Sunfire, and I was still worked at Easton, and I was driving home, and this car drove by, black convertible, um, looked like the fucking Batmobile, and I was like, "What is that? Tan interior? I don't know. You know, it's leather." And I was like, what is that? Oh my gosh. So I turned around, I was, you know, and fall behind it. I'm reading the back of the car, Mitsubishi. So I go home and start you know, typing in Mitsubishi cars. And it was a Spider 3000 GT. Oh. And I was like, I want that car, man. I really want that car a lot. So tell me you got that car. I wish I did get, get that car. So, <laughs> <laughs> so long story short, um, my aunt had a 96 3000 GT that she bought brand new. And she hardly ever drove it. So I was like, I want to buy that car for you one day, you know, like, uh, and so I'm, I'm, you know, saying this at like 16 and everybody in the family wanted the car. They like really wanted it. But, um, I had just had a point where I had, had the money. And so someone had kind of spoke for it first, but they couldn't, they were like, Oh, I'll pay you this payment plan. I was like, I got the money or rates now and I'll, cut, <laughs> and I'll come pick it up. And that's what happened. I flew out there. I okay. grabbed the car and I drove it back home and I was ecstatic. You flew, know, you oh, flew wow. where where would you have to pick it up from? Jersey. Okay. Basically New York. Okay. And drove it home and I, I think it was what's it, seventy seven, that PA turnpike? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I was whining. I was just hand, handled so nice. I got like hundred and twenty. <laughs> oh. Opened that thing up. It was awesome. What did you pay for that car? Uh I cannot disclose the information. <laughs> <laughs> It's a decade later. <laughs> it's a decade later, but there's some family stuff. I don't want to have to Still? deal with. Oh. Still? Still. gear will be definitely. There'll be some, some BS. Oh, wow. We'll check our tens of listeners to see if wow. it is. It'll get out somehow. Yeah, you know? I mean, yeah, you never know. Wow. For me, wow. for me, it was a lot of money at yeah, that age. Sure. It was a good chunk of money for my age, and I think my, my aunt helped me out, you know. so But I gave it to her all at once, and that was the only reason, reason I got it. I wish I would have known you in that car. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I, it was awesome. I loved Brian, because I think... I met you when you had the Sunfire. I can't remember, yeah. but it se- I seem to remember you driving at. And then one day he showed up in the, in the white three thousand GT, and I was just like, "Oh, it was white, man. yeah, oh, oh man. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit!" But I had that with the so I had I had three cars at one time. Yeah, so I had the, I had the Saturn and I had the Sunfire, and then I had the Mitsubishi. And uh, my wife, uh, my girlfriend at the time, didn't have her license, so uh, I taught her how to drive the Sunfire, the stick, in like a week. And she, uh-huh. got, she got a license in a week, and then she ended up driving that car, and she broke it down in a week. And <laughs> the tra- it, transmission worked great, and all of a sudden, a month later, it didn't, it, it, didn't, it didn't work so good. So anymore. is that her fault, or is that the teacher's fault? I don't know. I mean, you taught her. You know, I'm not going to go okay. deep right. into that one, uh-huh. but it's, I mean, 
I'm, I'm my cars don't break. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long did you have that car? The Saturn? No, the 3000 GT. 2003 to probably 2000. So 15? I didn't know you, but I didn't know that that's what you drove. I would only pull it out in the summer. Yeah. Okay. All so right. I had the Sunfire drive it almost the winter, and then as soon as it got warm, I pulled 3000 out. Wow. Yeah. And of course, I did what most African American males do when they get a dope ass car. I put two big ass 15 inch speakers in the back. <laughs> yeah. 1500 watts, and it thing thumped. And I also replaced the door speakers too, because I hated how cars just yeah. sounded like, you know, yeah. I, I wanted you to hear the song. The lyrics and every horn and thing blaring because I put a lot, a lot of James Brown in that car. <laughs> so much, so much where a cop told me, "Hey, hey, <laughs> turn that shit down." <laughs> oh, we can curse. I've been cursing this whole time. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I asked, like twenty minutes in the podcast, but so you had a. Um, it was white interior, was tan, tan interior, tan leather yeah. interior, yeah. and was that car stick or no? Yeah, yeah, manual, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. why did you get rid Perfect. of that car? Why? <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> well. So as time went on, uh, I had, had like, I think a couple of lifters ticking in it. So that was happening and I was getting that quoted out. The, uh, AC unit compressor mm-hmm. would just work intermittently. I had to keep refilling it a lot of leaks somewhere and we replaced that. A couple other issues here and there. Then somebody had hit it like on the, the, the driver's side door, like when I had it parked. Ugh. And so every time I opened the door, it would like creak the, uh, the body and then it like cave in like the, the, the frame in a little bit. Mm. The, so I couldn't get in the car without like messing my door up. <sighs> and so that kind of cracked and did this, did this thing. And then eventually what happened to my, the Subaru happened, started happening to the Mitsubishi to where I started losing first gear. And I was like, oh my God, no, 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 no. So, so, <laughs> so I started pricing things out and I was like, man, to get this XYZ fixed, it's going to cost, it was a couple grand. I was like, the engine alone was three grand to get that replaced and has somebody put it in the transmission yeah. once it goes out? I was like, you know, there's about a couple grand for that. And I was like, I looked online, I was like, this same car is less miles is selling for like three, three, thirty five hundred dollars. I'm like, <laughs> wow. I'm gonna just, you know, I'll just have to just get rid of this one or try to sell it to somebody else that wants to buy it. I had to get to work, and so I'm driving, driving. The first gear starting to go out, and then I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go to Dick Master Ford here and uh, talk, talk to my friend and see if he can put me in a car. So I'm driving down there and first gear goes out I'm like oh no 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 and I'm driving down Hamilton Road and <laughs> second so I'm trying to pull out a second gear and that starts to go I'm like oh my goodness oh no 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 <laughs> dude I see the Ford like you know the emblem out in the, in the distance like a beacon of hope <laughs> I'm driving out, please 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 dude I pull in and I the car dies in the in the parking lot and we have to push into a parking spot <laughs> so I just get out of the car like well you got me <laughs> Couldn't have been a worse negotiating position. No, that was the no. uh, that was there till probably like eleven o'clock at night, uh, and I was so mad about like, cars that moment because the Sunfire just took a shit on me, and then uh, that did, and I was like, I'm tired of paying for car. I wanted some a new car. I want yeah. the cheapest car you got, and uh, so I got a Ford Fiesta. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, manual, of course. And after looking like an idiot for a year in this tiny car. <laughs> And being as big as I am. Yeah, because Brian is, again, <laughs> we, we've touched a little bit on on what he can bench and, and squat and all that stuff. He is a wide-shouldered <laughs> man. Like, yeah. you are a big dude. Yeah, and it, I look, like it, was, it didn't fit me. It, yes, not. Literally. No way. <laughs> or metaphorically. <laughs> <laughs> so it had a bunch of recalls going on with it, and I ended up going in, taking it for a recall, and they put me in the car that I have, what I have now. Uh, 2014 Focus, and it was like a Platinum Edition. I was like, oh, another CD's kind of like this. Got all this, you know, this gadgets and whistles. And I was like, you know what? I want to be in this car for what I'm paying for that car. Let's make it work. And they made it work. Wow. So there you go. Now I got the the car that's had two different transmission changes and a couple clutches. <laughs> You're kidding? The, yeah. <laughs> the recalls and this was a Ford powertrain. They had some BS thing they came out with. Oh my gosh. And it just yeah, it, I had to get the clutch replaced twice. And the transmission once. So, the, so it's under warranty. But it was under warranty, yeah. though, because it was new. But I still had to pay like some deductibles and BS like that. And yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I got the car like in my like weird tire, ended up warping, brand new tires. I'm like, what's going on? And they're yeah. like, oh, your shocks are bad. I was like, so I called my dude at Ford. I'm like, you know, man, I bought, I had a Sunfire that I had, man, for years. Years. No one ever went wrong with it. The shocks. Uh, my headlights got condensation in them. And I started going like, all the stuff I have with this car. So, you know, shout out to Dick Masher for it, man. They fixed everything. They looked out for me. Good, but, you know, because at first I thought I was like I hated them because like I got the car from them, but obviously it's not their fault. They didn't, right? You know they didn't I mean? make it. They didn't make but it. They did everything they could to make it right without you know like just giving me free stuff. But yeah, like yeah. the shocks weren't covered under warranty, and they they you know they fixed them. Damn. Yeah, they wouldn't change the tires. I tried to get them to replace the tires. They wouldn't do that. But <laughs> you know, and I hope that of me saying they replaced my shocks and they weren't under warranty won't get somebody in trouble. But 
I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Statute of limitations is passed yeah, yeah. On, on on that one, I'm sure. So you have the focus, mm-hmm. and you still have it. Yes, still have the focus. And the focus is a 2014. Yes, mileage now. Uh, I want to say it's like 75. Okay. Yeah. So still low mileage. Yeah. Thankfully, this this run with this transmission has been pretty well so okay. far. There's still some like. Uh, not not slipping, but some hesitation going I've on. I've seen him pull into coaches, though, and I don't think it's the transmission. Shut up. <laughs> it's automatic, so it's not me changing the gears. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it seems to be working pretty fine. Um, I hope it stays that way for a while. I think the, the clutch warranty is up to like 125,000 miles. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So they, they extended it pretty far because it keeps fucking up. <laughs> so I'm just hoping I, I can stop taking it in. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And of course they're doing that BS where they call you. Hey, we got so we got a customer here that wants to purchase your car. My yeah. my manager's giving me you know the ability to offer more than asking price for your car. Bring it in tomorrow. I'm, I'm asking twenty five. Yeah, yeah, I'm asking the cost of my loan. So <laughs> if you can do that, then we can swap this damn car out. If not, fuck off. What's the next car? Oh my god. What? Um, honestly. I've been really looking at the 350Z. Yes. Mm. Yes. Um, I've always wanted it since uh, Tokyo Drift. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No yeah. shame. No shame. No, okay. I'm not ashamed at all. I don't no. know why I like that movie. I watched it a lot for as bad as it is. Yeah. Um, really? It, it is bad. It, it is a bad movie. It, oh, it's definitely a bad movie, but you yeah. watched it a lot. I watched it a lot. I don't know why. I thought, um, I, don't know, I don't know what it was about it. Maybe it was just Japanese Certainly culture. not the acting. No, the acting was horrible. Especially or the writing. Mm-mm. Everything about it is bad. I mean, the action is okay. Even like the main character, like he came from, like oh, he's horrible. He's like he was like from New York, but he had the country accent. I'm a country boy. Yeah, and, ah, and that's you had, it. You had Bow Wow, who didn't know any Japanese, but lived there. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. It made no sense. Yeah, the only the only uh, good character they they kill in the movie. The only guy that can act, but he's not really dead. But he's not dead. Well, he is dead. But no, he's right. He came Wait, back, right? Well, it? all the other movies are prequels to that. Yeah, but I still thought but he came. That's back. how they. No, did he? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen the last. Let's ask one. you. Let's ask your your systems person, Doug. Can you check Doug on the, on the <laughs> laptop and make sure see if he's Han still alive? Doug's checking, guys. We'll wait for a second here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I I thought that the whole thing was that all the other movies where Han is in take place. They, they do before. Before but I, but I swear he came back. Like, Maybe they, they I pulled don't know. some. You know, they pulled the BS where like no one's ever really did. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I know Statham killed him right because that was a big twist. I didn't see that movie. Spoiler. God damn it, Not Brian. Really. You can't spoil somebody eight, 18 years later. I mean, <laughs> they're about to make Fast like 10 or 11 now. Yeah, yeah, they? yeah. Tangent. Sarah and I just watched Hobbs versus Shaw. Have you seen that? I have not. Was it awesome? It was fucking horrible. Come on, man. It was bad. It, it, it was it, bad. It had some great parts in it. Idris was bad. No, Idris was great. Okay. Yeah. And The Rock is good as he is in everything. But mm-hmm. like the action is just gone so far away from what made Fast and the Furious great with the cars and it's all that It's a completely stuff. different it's movie. It's a whole different... It's an entirely different movie. In all fairness, though, if you tried to duplicate the very first Fast and Furious, it would get laughed out of any any room. I mean, it was it was terrible. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> it was, it was ba- it, well. I mean, it was Point Break, but you know, with cars. <laughs> with cars. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think there's a way to take those movies back to car culture and racing and and that kind of shit. They're not about cars anymore. They're not. No, it's just it's just action movie, popcorn movie yeah, stuff. They're now. about cars though. You got a you got a dope car doing some stuff. Yeah, it's a, they're all about family. Don't you get that message? <laughs> that, that they're all about family. What do you guys talk about? You yeah. can't tell me you didn't freaking cry and tear up doing that freaking Brian uh not his name's not Brian Paul Walker Paul Walker yeah yeah yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah 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 well that yeah that was that was truly that unfortunate was pull, yeah. pulling on my heartstrings yeah it did man and to go out the way in real life the way he did it dying in a car crash mm-hmm. you yeah. know car fire in a Porsche like that you're not even driving right? like you're just a passenger you're in letting your dude drive your oh my goodness and he and that I don't know that there's a worse way to go out no. Yeah, that's no. that's sad. That's it's really really sad. Here's let's let's, yeah, drink. let's take it. Oh wait wait wait, hold on. Get some more, Pete's got to get some actual liquid. Paul Walker, man, this yeah, is really important. If it wasn't for Paul, <laughs> Paul Walker is the reason why one. So if this is possible for me to get, if I uh, happen to get Pete money one day. Uh, Whoa, wait a <laughs> minute! I'm still waiting for Pete money. What are you talking about? I'm messing around. Uh, but seriously, if I get Pete money one day, I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> jokes, man. No, I, w- I really want a Supra. Oh it, yeah, I mean, really definitely, bad. definitely. Like, especially Same. the new one looks sweet. If you've seen it, the 2020, we yeah. talked about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it looks awesome. 
Here's, here's the Polly. Here's the Paul Walker. The We're going to drink some whiskey. Mm. Yep, that one doesn't have an ice cube in it. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I think I like the old super more than the new one. Um, the new one oh, looks yeah, yeah. the new one looks great, but just nostalgic, you know, all of those things. I'd have to get an old one. And they're about it's it's cheaper to buy an old one than the new one anyway. So yeah, yeah. is it? Yeah, they're, you can get a pretty pretty decent ones for like twenty or thirty, mm-hmm. and the new ones are like fifty to sixty. <laughs> Dude, awesome! Since so, so I get Pete money, I'll get a super. <laughs> so I, I'm, only, I'm I'm joking around because Pete, what what is your profession? You're I say banker, but that's not like a that's not your job, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll go with banker. <laughs> so I like to say Pete's great with money because this is, uh, this is kind of a tangent. We went and got a shed together, and this shed is was five by five feet by three feet and i wanted to buy a, a base for it and i at pete we got these 15 by 15 inch squares <laughs> how many do i need you know you go with you go with numbers yeah to you know for the base and he goes 36 i said oh, hold on pete let's <laughs> it's, it's it's five by five by three feet and these are about a, a foot and a half squares. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, square feet, and then thirty six, thirty six of them, thirty six. So I'm like, oh my god, that's that, that's more than the shed. <laughs> <laughs> the the correct answer was eight. <laughs> <laughs> should I should I explain? No, I'm just gonna leave it. There. <laughs> you just gotta it's take fine. it, man. You it's just gotta fine. take it. Totally cool. So that is the Pete money joke. Why, I'm, why I'm, <laughs> I keep hitting it because he's so good with numbers that he can figure out how to get me this Supra. Yeah, with his math. Yeah, I could do it. <laughs> You're gonna need seven. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna tell you of what seven yeah, of what. You I'm need not seven of this. Yeah, and it's you have yours. to figure out seven of what. So as you think about cars and your experience with them. What's one thing that you think about wanting to do or, or like within reach? Like Formula One over here, right? We had a whole episode on, on Formula One. Rob and I are never going to get in a Formula One car no. or even on a track. But no. legitimately speaking, like, do you do you have something you'd like to do or want to do? or Like, do it, like build, build a car? or Like could be build a car. Or or own a car. Or, like, own a you car. Know, race. Some sort of, yeah, either racing or, or like a road trip or anything like that. Man. This is a, a broad question. I would love to get like a like a Caprice or one of those. What was it a, was it a Cougar? They used to call those. Was that car back? What's that car back in the day? It reminded me of a Caprice actually. I thought it was a Cougar. It, I mean, that could just be saying some weird term for ladies, but um, we'll get Doug to look it up too. Like he's looking up the <laughs> other thing. <laughs> Sleepy in the back. <laughs> But yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind fixing up like an old car, you know, okay. like an old classic car to go back to Fast and Furious, like that scene when Vin. What car is that? He starts up in the garage. The Charger. Charger. Yeah, man, having something like that in my garage that I could start up and wake up the whole neighborhood. <laughs> I got a '63 Impala you can work on. I see that that one we saw in your garage. Mm-hmm. That looks like yeah. it needs like a lot of work. Though. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. It runs, doesn't it though? It, it runs and drives. I mean, no, it it drives like it. With wheels, like it moves, yeah. like yeah, I get sounds it, good too. I get it runs, like I get, you, you can turn it on. No, uh-huh. how long does it run? As long as you want to. That's not true. I <laughs> I built the whole thing. I took a three fifty small block, rebuilt it with math. That did you? That your math, <laughs> Pete math. Yeah. Pete okay. Math. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it's got a new intake, new carburetor, new radiator, new hoses, new alternator, starter. Uh, I mean, it's it's got headers on it. I've got new exhaust. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a, you look at it, it's dusty because it's sitting in a barn. Well, yeah, but, I mean, that it yeah. runs really well. Yeah, huh? really runs, well. Yeah, brand new. It was convertible, right? No, no, it was a hard top. Oh, I have to swear, like it was just so short, though, right? I feel like it's just height wise. Yeah, it's a little squat. I yeah. I don't have rear rear suspension. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So it's body on frame, literally. Because <laughs> so when right. you say you can drive it, yeah, there's oh. no suspension. There's no suspension. Smooth in the roads. Back. Yeah. Okay, okay. Smooth you. roads. Okay, yeah. okay. So no, it, it it it's yeah. It it goes in a straight line. <laughs> I can squawk the wheels from you know first to second if you if you lean on it hard enough. <laughs> it's fun, but it doesn't have a posi rear end, so it's only one tire that breaks. <laughs> but it's fine. So you probably already talked about this. So is your goal? I mean, obviously you want to finish that car. You have a, a date? Going? No, I don't because I have a wife and a family and a ton of other things that come up that yeah. always find a way to take the money out of the bank account. So there's no date. I've been working on it for seven years. That's not that long for a car, though. Yeah, I you see, mean, you see movies. You see, it's like this, like a lifetime to work on the car. Yeah, I, I really just I need probably well, 
uh, who knows what I need. What I think I'd do, I was talking actually, my dad came down for the weekend um, to visit and uh, we were talking about the cars and I told him, I was like, you know what, I think I'm just going to sell it and, you know, start over and he's like, why, you know, and we went through it, but uh, I think I could probably sell it for 12 and then just take that money and turn it into like buying something newer and done. 12K? Yeah. Oh, that's dope, dude. So that's so you're going to just you're at the point now where you want to try something different. So the the full story is I got into these older cars because my dad and I growing up used to build them. Mm-hmm. Right. And he has a few and has had more and has kind of gotten rid of a few over the years. But my favorite car he has is a 63 Impala Super Sport. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to be like dad. And when it was time, that's the car that I bought and I went to build it, but you know, times are different, right? My dad was able to get a car, you know, done and complete inside of a year. And it's, it's a nice, it's a, it's, just, it's a nice car. It's a show car. I mean, he doesn't win prizes with it or anything, but it's completely done and it's beautiful. Now he's looking to like get rid of his cars. He's older. He's not driving mm-hmm. them and he he'd, won't give them to me. So <laughs> he <laughs> told me he'd sell it to me. And I'm thinking, well, if I can get rid of mine yeah. and come up with some extra cash, get the then, family discount. Yeah. I just put something that like, makes way more sense that yeah. I helped work on when I was yeah. eight or nine. And then that's the best of both worlds in my eyes. That's what I'm thinking. So what yeah. would you need to, to take your current one to where it needs to be like money wise? What do you think it would be? Six grand. Okay. Six grand and it would look it would look really good. It wouldn't be the quality my dad's is. Would you have to though? Would I have to put, put six grand in? Yeah, would like would someone no. just buy it now? Yeah, someone would buy it now. Yeah. At twelve. I could probably sell it tomorrow at nine. Gotcha. It's a it's a solid car. It's just it just needs more work. But my dad's is he started with a better frame. He's got he's got new new sheet metal all the way around it so like i need to do body work on my quarter panels he bought reproduction aftermarket quarter panels mm-hmm. and put them on like, i mean they're the, the, the whole thing's solid the only thing i don't like about it is an automatic ah uh, but you know beggars can't be choosers no <laughs> no mace car it looks it's great so. yeah but it's it's nice it's black two-door hard top it's slick i mean it's the same car as mine it's just this is nicer well it sounds like we should get that car and Going to Joyride. <laughs> <laughs> It'll fit all of us. It's it's a big ass car, man. I uh, I might I might list it in September. There's a car show up uh, in Canfield, Ohio. I don't know if you know Canfield, but yes, they have swap meets and stuff. And uh, my dad told me, hey, why don't you come over and sit with us? We're getting a spot. They're selling some old car parts and shit. And um, I might take the day and go up there and just take the car with me and see if somebody buys it. Be awesome. Yeah. Well, like how like I, I boss interviewed this whole situation. I was like, I'm gonna switch it over. I'm gonna ask you the questions now. It really is. Yeah. It's fun being on Joyride. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if I hired you? <laughs> Sell me this pen. <laughs> well, this pen is seven or eight. <laughs> Pete math here. What? <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know like how to do this without being pretentious, and I think that's that's my problem. To do to do what? Well, I asked you like, what would you like like to do with cars or whatever? Like, I yeah, think something I'd like to do is buy a car and actually take it to tracks and and run it around. I don't want to like professionally race or even do it on an amateur level, but I would like to take or trailer X Y Z car to a track and have a track day with a bunch of guys that are friends, you know, like and just do yeah. that on weekends and go to like Kentucky or you know like wherever some cool tracks are and but. It feels pretentious to be like, yeah, I'm taking my 911 Turbo to... I don't know. Well, so, yeah, so, no, 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 but... No. Yeah. You, if you had four of them, budget. yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you were taking one for every, right. each of us to drive, then yes. I got one for you, buddy. I got one for you, you. We're going to race them because mine's fastest, but we'll see who comes in second. No. That would be fun, man. I would, Yeah, I would honestly I would love to race a car. I figure that's like every guy's dream, though. You know, most guys' dreams, like just to getting something and go really really fast and without risk of dying yeah you well know? i mean there's risk but yeah but you know what i mean like it's not the same as doing it on Route 70 yeah exactly yeah. no it's exactly not. how about you rob what, what do you uh what do you think you just looking at the at the fun car on the weekend is that is that the is that what we got in motion one step right at a, yeah, yeah one step at a time man yeah, yeah. Hey, man did you see that miata i sent you yes i and, did and what happened there i mean it's a five thousand dollar miata it's perfect yeah, low like mileage the, newer body style it's, it's the new word it's not the new whiz body the girl style car Miata, like that one no i think the, the car looks like a little it's a two-door right two-door yeah, yeah two-door convertible convertible yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah. do yeah the girl car it's like it's a girl car right it it <laughs> reminds me of the pontiac <laughs> sunfire? <laughs> sunfire oh come on yeah. hold on hold on hold on hold on hold <laughs> on 
The Miata is a great uh, car. Touche. I just I like the newer body style. The older body, it's okay. So the older body style is the girl car. I mean, they're it's all girl cars. Okay, but it's all boy cars too. So you know. I mean, yeah. I guess we're not really labeling cars, right? No. No, it's yeah. a gender bending car. Yeah, it, it definitely. I've, I've known uh, guys who drove, you know, drove and driven the car. Yeah. But yeah, I mean. I guess you know. I'm looking at ma- the majority of people who buy the car, right? Like the Corvette know. is 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 the top is the top one for me right now. And okay. I think if I had to go out tomorrow, I mean, I've got ten cars in my mind yeah. of of what I want to test drive. But gun to my head tomorrow, C6 Corvette would probably be what I would do. Really? Yeah. Uh, you can't go wrong there. No. I mean, that's that's a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah, and you know, engines are good forever. Mm-hmm. You know, the LS engine is, yeah. is really really great, and it's not that expensive to fix if if you do blow a gasket or right yeah it's can't throw a rod through it but yeah being being a hyundai yourself well, you know, <laughs> yeah do you prefer american or foreign um you know my my li- my loyalties don't really lie anywhere mm-hmm. and i like bits of each yeah it's a weird thing right I, I love like the the sleekness and like the sexiness of like foreign cars right like yeah but again like like I could keep going back to that Vin Diesel scene, just that, just that raw power of these like American cars, right? Like, like man, I don't, I don't care if your car can go faster than mine, man, but like my car could kick your car's ass in a fight. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> my car could kick your car's ass in a you fight. Know, if that, we, that's we, we rammed each other, your car's going to be you know, disintegrated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, you know, I'm, I, I love muscle cars. I mean, it's hard not to, honestly. Yeah, right. Just it being loud and and just obnoxious and awesome looking brute force. Just, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just not going to go around a track very well, but no, or at all. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but they aren't built like that. I mean, that's 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 the thing. Yeah, they weren't. But you a sedan guy or are you an SUV guy? Ooh, um, I don't know. I guess I'm right down the middle with that. Yeah, it all depends on the car. I prefer like the. I guess the sedans I've had to choose, just because of handling. Okay. Right. I like to, I like to, you know I like to make a little sharp turns here and there. So if yeah. you got if you got the choice between a Mercedes S five hundred, BMW seven fifty, or Panda Panda, <laughs> that one, <laughs> or uh, full size Escalade, or full size like long wheelbase Range Rover. Like I mean, you go oh, I take the Beamer. You take the Beamer. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't like Range Rovers, but it, yeah, I just. I think the handling, man. I don't, I don't mind being up high. Like they, they're comfortable to drive, right? Mm-hmm. But as far as like, just we were we drove a. Uh, it was a Kia Sportage. This is not the same thing. But we, <laughs> <laughs> but we uh, rented it. We rented a car, and that's what we we got. Um, and we drove it down the, the um, to South Carolina on uh, the it was, a, it was a turnpike in Virginia, mm-hmm. and a lot of you know winds and turns. And I was like, man, this car is just everywhere. And I was like, I really wanted my focus at that time. Yeah, because it just handles so much better. I mean, tires are much wider. Mm-hmm. You know, it sits low and it just, man. But so I like being up high, but when it comes to like driving the car and really driving it, I prefer yeah. like, yeah. That's a legitimate answer. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't know that you're wrong for that pick. Yeah. I go back and forth. I mean, I feel like my personality isn't one dimensional, so it just depends on what I want to do that day, mm-hmm. what I'm trying to be about. And I would love to have a nice, solid, full size sedan one day. And then the next day I'm like, oh man. I need I need to be in the, a truck again. Like I mean, I just can't. <laughs> I do miss cars, but I don't I don't know that I could do one over the other all the time. Even though I'm doing one over the right, other all the time. Right, you're doing that exact doing the truck thing every day right now. Yeah, yeah, but, dude. It's, the truck is so useful. It, it, as I use you all the time stupid. for your truck. <laughs> it's stupid useful. <laughs> but it, like I, I really want one, man. But like again, it's just that. You know, as far as driving goes, mm-hmm. I just like being low, man. Like, I think that's why I got such a bug up my ass for a third car because I don't get that experience. I don't get to to run a car hard, right? hug a hug a curve, yeah. like none of that. It feels good, man. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> like, no, I, I miss it. I miss it. I was I was just coming here, like off the off the off ramp, right? Like I'm taking the off ramp faster than I should, but I mean, I could take it 25, 35 miles more an mm-hmm. hour if I was in a car. Yeah. yeah. Just easy. Well, sounds like you're about to get a new car. Mm, there's another podcast coming up next week. I think we might have something. To talk oh, about. Yeah, oh shit. little tease there. Yeah. Is that what you were talking about earlier when we were texting? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll see Saturday what happens. Okay. All right. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. 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 Which by the way, I can't, I can't help you. Saturday. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. This is how I find out. This is it, man. You tell, right? me, you tell me in the podcast yeah. so I don't overreact. 
and <laughs> we're far away, so I can't, I can't, I can't yeah. put hands on you right now. Socially but, distant podcast. You yeah. can't do anything other than hear me in your ears. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. So, could I come see the horse though? Yeah. When do you want to see the horse? I don't know. Whenever I can. Here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll go do. What we're gonna do Saturday. We'll do that, and then we'll see the horse. I'm kidding. Look, I tried to trick yeah, you. No, like, I tried to trick you. He's yeah. like, what? Uh, what? Uh, mm. No, that's cool. But I do want to see the horse, though. We'll we'll get, we'll get what we need to get, though. I got you. You're all, uh, it doesn't have to happen this weekend, even though you kind of crushed my dreams. What was happening? Hey, we were going to go to... <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to go pick up some stuff for our gyms. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Some, some plywood and some mats. Um, but yeah, apparently we're not going anymore, so... <laughs> That's fine. No, I mean, yeah, we'll talk after. We'll talk after. It's okay, man. You just, you know, you got out. You're starting a farm. Yeah, Pete's Petting Zoo is real. Jeez, oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's gonna stick. I, I could just feel it. Yeah, because they don't want it to, so it will. Yeah, I mean, it's, 100%. it rolls all the tongue. Well, the Pretty. alliteration. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it yeah doesn't help my cause. It at doesn't all. help at all. No. In fact, you got 13 goats and nine and 10 sheep. Four. Okay, I'm gonna. And two horses. I got that one right. Two, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Well, you were just doing Pete math on the first. Oh, oh okay. Pete right. math. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. It's going to stick in the podcast, right? Pete math is going to be a thing. Yeah. This is dope. Yeah. So we've talked a little bit about your, your car history. Dream car for you. I mean, we you said Supra, mm-hmm. but like if you could have anything sub, we'll, we'll say $150,000. So you can go out and pretty much buy anything reasonably yeah. new or old or whatever. What and why? Yeah, what what would you get? Oh man. It's it sounds like super cliche, but I've always wanted like a Lamborghini. Oh, that's cliche. I can't fault you no. for that though. Yeah. What do you like which one? Do you know? Uh, dude, I, I always come, Lamborghini. <laughs> well, I always come back to the one that uh, I don't know which model it was actually. Um the one Jackie Chan drove in Rumble in the Bronx when he stuck the katana out the door. Dude, like an old school. Yeah. 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 I don't even know what would Dude, that have been. A, is that the same one that they had in uh, Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> He's like, ooh, <laughs> that's the Lamborghini. You're going to want to keep that one. Would that have been a, like a like a Countach maybe? Yeah, or or uh, Diablo? Diablo maybe? maybe? Yeah. But it had like a, you know, that's almost like a, not a retro look. But you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A little more blocky, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, man, I really Probably yeah. had they had manual transmissions back then they did. for those cars. Yeah, yeah. and this, yeah, that's yeah. kind and of supercar was three hundred and ten horse. Yeah, I, I mean I don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I love Lamborghinis too. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Yeah. I'm uh, like Italian sports car Lamborghini. I think you have to have one in your in your stable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a stable, Pete. So is that what the podcast Pete's next week is going to be about? Yeah. This new car. You've got the goats. You got the sheep. The horse, and then the, the Italian horse, the bull, or the bull. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't mind an Italian horse either, though. Well, yeah, but I like the bull better. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I could go. I could go. For, I could go either way. Ferrari, nah, no. I think Ferraris just. I don't know. Enzo. I like Enzo, but I, I, I. There's just something that is a little more snooty about Ferrari. Oh, of course, of course. That I can't get yeah. behind. Yeah. Like I like. I like the wild man Lamborghini mm-hmm. vibe. More, yeah. just personally. Butterfly doors, man. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that movie, uh, Ford versus Ferrari? I w- so yeah. I wanted to talk to you about that. Do you want to do like a movie review, Ford v. Ferrari? You know what? I haven't seen it. So I haven't seen it, it yet either. Me a reason to, yeah. I haven't seen mm. it either. That's good. Yeah? I cried a little bit, not going to lie. Oh, shit, I had no man. idea. I didn't know the story. So it sounds like I'm on this car podcast. But yeah. I mean, I knew who Shelby was, but I didn't know like the background of the whole, you know. Yeah, about how Ferrari was dominant. Yeah. And, yeah, 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 yeah. It was awesome to see that kind of thing. Even the driver thing that um, um, Christian Bale played. That yeah. Whole, the whole dynamic was great, man. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's I think good. I think at some point we'll do a movie review podcast okay. of, of that. And I we'll, mean, yeah. I've been meaning to watch it. I just, you know. Same. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's a good one. It's a good one. I recommend it. I didn't Excellent. think it was going to be good. It was long. But good. It's got Christian Bale and Matt Damon in it. It's gonna be good. Yeah, I'm kind yeah. of a Matt Damon fan, if I'm being honest. Matt Damon. <laughs> I just I just burned through all the oceans because <laughs> they're on Netflix. Oh really? Because, because yeah. of Matt Damon? No, but I, I like found myself really appreciating his, <laughs> Hold up, Matt. his effort in that. Matt Damon in oceans of ocean the ocean movies. Eleven, twelve, and thirteen. He's yeah. the one you call out. Yeah. Not not Clooney. 
Not Brad I mean, Pitt. Not Brad Pitt. Matt Damon was a, the one. I'm a maverick, so you know I don't just go to what everybody expects. Neither, yeah. I'm just saying, but it's just it's a hidden gem. Yeah, of course, Clooney and Pitt are amazing. I mean, the the, the chemistry and banter and writing. The most important character of the whole movie, and Rob should know who it is. I don't know who it is. Is it the is it the Grease Man? Which one? No, rest rest in peace, Bernie Mac. Oh, oh, the Mac Man. That's right. I forgot he was in that movie. No, I, I remember. You forgot. Oh, my goodness. I remember thinking about that because he was, he was in all of them, actually. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. Man, too soon, man. Too Dude, soon. like, it didn't even, I still watch his show. So it seems oh, like yeah. man. His, his if you are of, a father, yeah. you have to watch the Bernie Mac show. I would agree. Oh, my gosh. I based my parenting off that show. <laughs> I still think his brand of humor is before its time. I still think it's underappreciated. Oh, man. He had the, the best. Most famous, in my opinion, eight, eight minutes of comedy ever. You know, I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. You know, like he's come out. <laughs> that's your first line stepping on stage, <laughs> dude. Genius, genius. But back to cars. Sorry, sorry. No, that's fine. I, I can digress a lot. That's what podcasts are for. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Holding Caulfield over here. That's a, a <laughs> catching the ride reference. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, he's a triple threat, man. So uh, we're gonna get the guitar out and play the Desperado theme. <laughs> You know, uh, listen, play us out here. What are we doing? That's what you want to do. I mean, I, I gotta. I think we gotta play ourselves out. I mean, we're we're, we're what are we at? Forty? Yeah, we're at fifty. Yeah. Can we get some Spanish yeah. singing? Tell I me. mean, I gotta find these lyrics. I can't just make up Spanish words and be be <laughs> offensive to people. That's well, yeah, not, you don't want to be offensive. Yeah, nobody. I, wants I mean, to I, I'm gonna say words in Spanish, but I want to make sure they make sense. So, uh, you know, background story here while uh, we're looking up some uh, <laughs> lyrics and uh, chord chord what progressions. This, what is this song called? Uh, Rob is cheating on the podcast with Tony, and they are cheating working on, on uh, a band called Red Lion. No, Red Lion Riot. Yeah, Red okay. Lion Riot. Yeah. So as soon as COVID's over, we're gonna go watch them at some of these uh, sports bars and other places that they're gonna play. But uh, they've been practicing uh, a whole bunch of stuff. And when I came to the podcast this evening. Uh, Tony had beat me here uh, to monopolize Rob's time in this uh, side project, which is going to overshadow the Joy Red podcast. So this is my humble attempt in trying to include myself in some way for the demise of Joy Ride after <laughs> Red Line Ride takes off. Dude, I don't. What is this song called? I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's just called My Guitar. It's called My Guitar? I think so. Me or oh My Guitar? I don't know. Me Guitar? Here we go. Red line right. Heard first on the Joyride Podcast. <laughs> Discovered by Pete. <laughs> Me gusta tomar mis copas. Aguardiente es el mejor. Dame ante el tequila blanco con su esta cebada. I butchered those words. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, mi morena, da mi corazón. Ay, 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 mi amor. Ay, mi morena, de mi corazón. Uh, this has been another episode of the Joyride Podcast. <laughs> we appreciate you guys listening and indulging our wildest and totally uh, <laughs> adolescent uh, creative behaviors. Uh, you know, please check us out. Special thanks to Tony for being a special guest. Gracias. Me gusta tocar la guitarra. Me gusta cantar el sol. Mariachi a mi acompaña cuando canto mi canción. May the song stick in your head for the rest of the day. Rob and Pete on our way out. Thank you to High Bank. Check out our Instagram. Contact us via email. Don't know any of those, and I should by now. <laughs> but damn, is this is this pretty to listen to? I apologize, my horrible, horrible Spanish, Espanol. What? Wow, wow, I just did totally. See, I can't even speak Spanglish. This is awesome, guys. I had a good time. Bye. Oh my God, we got some cookies. Nice. Yes. Oh, I will absolutely take a cookie. Rob's daughter Thank just you. brought down some chocolate chip cookies. Did you oh, find how much? Warm. Oh they're my goodness. Warm. Thank you. Thank you, baby. This is awesome. I mean, I'll take another one. We don't have to. We can just. We can just we can, leave the tray there. You no, know, it's too far away, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, those are in my reach. <laughs> <laughs> this audio is going to be great with us eating cookies. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> you know what? This is probably the best podcast I've ever been on my life. <laughs> I mean, it's the only one I've ever been just... on. <laughs> <laughs> but this is raising the bar. I'm going to tell you right now. Mm. Wow. 
Oh, those are good. They're pretty good cookies. Feels oh, like there's a good amount of butter in these. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Rob, can we go to our sponsors? Can we just do some money right? <laughs> <laughs> you just have to press press the sponsor button, please. <laughs> I was, what'd you guys do? We drank whiskey and had cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Mid thirties men just like mm, cookies and whiskey. Yeah. What did you do? 